Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. My name is Emily Lauren and today I have a massive haul for you. So I've done a lot of shopping recently. I've been to Sephora, I've been to JCPenney, I've been to Big Lots, and I've been to TJ Maxx. So we've kind of got a little bit of everything in this video. I've got some makeup, I've got some hair care, clothing, home decor. So we are just going to get into it and we're going to do our mug of the day. Alright, for my mug of the day, I've got this beautiful floral mug that says Chicago. I really like that it has the black base with the bright flowers. I feel like it adds a really nice contrast. I'm having some Folgers coffee with Trivia and French Vanilla Creamer. Alright, let's hop into it. Let's start with Sephora because that's my favorite, you know, makeup. Okay, so I'm actually pretty excited about everything I picked up. But this thing is actually super important that I got. This is the Super Goop Smooth and Poreless 100% Mineral Matte Screen. It's an SPF 40 sunscreen. And this I'm going to use to put underneath my foundation every day. No matter if I'm going to be filming like a drugstore or affordable tutorial, I'm still going to use this, but I just won't put it in the video, you know. It's super important for me to start really taking care of my skin and um, making sure that if I'm going outside, even if it's cloudy, that I have an SPF on. And I went ahead and picked this up because we are going to be going to Florida very soon for vacation. And I know we spend a lot of time outside there, so I wanted to make sure I had a good SPF. And since it's going to be hot and I'm sure I'm going to be sweating, this is the matte one. So hopefully that helps me and my makeup to not just slide off my face. <laughs> but I am excited that I picked this up. Next up I got this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and it came with this little spatula which I think is super cute. Let me show you. So this way you don't have to dip your finger into the pot which that doesn't really bother me and I'm not going to be sharing it so I've, I dip my finger into the pot. But I'll show you what it looks like. You get a good amount in here. And it smells so good. This one is the berry flavor, which it should be bubblegum because it smells exactly like bubblegum. But I love this thing. Alright, last up at Sephora. I picked up these to try. These are the Briogeo Shampoo and Conditioner. It's the Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood line. And I'm still testing them out. You can see how much of the conditioner I've used and then how much of the shampoo I've used. They smell very good. If you like the smell of banana, definitely you would like this, but if you have like an aversion to banana, don't even smell this because it smells exactly like banana. It's so good. I really like it. And I also want to try out their apple ones, but I'll I'll get through these first. I really liked how my hair felt after I yes after I used them, but I'm gonna still keep trying them out before I let you know my final thoughts. All right, let's move into JCPenney. So I went to JCPenney on the hunt for a dress to wear to my sister's wedding. She is having a beach wedding and that's why we're going to Florida. So I wanted something that was like nice and flowy and beach appropriate, but also nice enough to wear to a wedding, you know? So I ended up going with this dress right here. It's got this lace pretty floral pattern. My boyfriend is mowing the lawn. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. It's really loud. Okay. It's this beautiful pink lacy floral material. And I will show you kind of how long it is here. So it is kind of a shorter dress. I just love the color and the pattern and everything about it. I really think this will be nice for a wedding and also for the beach. And I won't get too hot because it's sleeveless. And I really like necks that do this. So we went shopping on the Labor Day sale at JCPenney. So this was marked down to $13.79. And then I got 25% off for the Labor Day sale. And then I got 25 more percent off because I work at Sephora inside JCPenney. So I got my employee discount. So this was so cheap and it's beautiful. Okay, then I also needed some shoes that would be appropriate for the beach and that would match with that dress. So I picked these up. 
Oh, they're still in the packaging. These are just some nice little um, flip flops here. I thought that this um, brown color would go nicely with the dress. And then it's got some pretty little detailing right here that kind of dresses it up a little bit. So hopefully these match good and protect my feet from the hot sand. Okay, moving right along. That is what I got from JCPenney and Sephora. Next, we will move into Big Lots. So I have recently discovered that Big Lots has pretty exciting clearance makeup. So I got this to try out. This is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Mascara Buster. Don't do that. <laughs> and this has a nice um, natural bristle brush. And it was marked down to $5.85. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then for some reason I've been on like a foundation and concealer kick. Which... Those aren't even my favorite steps in a makeup routine, but I've just been really wanting to find things that look nice and work for me and don't melt off my face and don't look cakey and things like that. So I picked up this to try. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. What? <laughs> CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in the shade Buff Beige. So this I definitely think is going to be too dark for me, but I have another foundation that's way too light for me, so I'm going to try to mix them. And Nicole Cutler on YouTube talks about this, and she loves this foundation, so I really want to give it a shot. And then I got this concealer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend It's Lit Brightening Concealer Pen in the shade 100 Fair. And I've never tried a concealer pen like this if you can see that's the applicator right there which is interesting oh I forgot to tell you how much I got this for this was marked down to three dollars and this is also marked down to three dollars last but not least in here I got a, another concealer this is the Rimmel London wake me up anti-fatigue skin brightening concealer and this has vitamin C in it which is really nice this is in the shade 010 ivory and it was marked down to 280. This just has a standard concealer applicator, which I really like applicators like this, so I am excited to try that. All right, moving right along, I have a lot of stuff from TJ Maxx to share with you. TJ Maxx is one of my favorite places. I get in a lot of trouble there. They have such good deals, and then I convince myself to buy things I don't need. <laughs> so I got basically all home decor from TJ Maxx. I went there with a specific purpose to get a soap dish for my niece's soap that she made me. So this is a beautiful soap dish. It feels like stone. It's got this marbling in here with the gray lining. It feels really heavy. It feels really luxurious. Um, I picked this up for $5.99. And then when I picked this out, I was like, well, this doesn't really go with the decor in my bathroom, so let me just redo my whole bathroom. <laughs> I have a problem. Okay, so next up is this little toothbrush and toothpaste holder. It just matches exactly with the soap dish that I got, and this was also $5.99. I really want my bathroom to be very comfortable, but also look very nice so the things that I have in there the color scheme that I like is like white and gray for my bathroom I have some gray bathroom mats in there and then right now my toothbrush holder and soap dish and all of that is gray but this kind of steps it up and makes it a little bit more fancy and the next piece is this right here this is just a beautiful little soap dispenser and it has the gray to match with all the rest and I like that it's square. Like, I feel like this looks so clean and chic. This I picked up for $9.99. And the last piece for this bathroom set is this tray right here. So this is $9.99 as well. And I think this will be really great to set, like, my oils on, um, my makeup cleanser, the one that I'm using currently, um, maybe my beauty blender, my face mask brushes, things like that. I think this will look just really nice on my bathroom counter. And then I'm going to show you this big thing that I got. So this is something that I want to set up in my bathroom. 
It was $19.99. It's this beautiful circular stand. And you can say it's just like gray metal. I really like that it is in the shape of a circle and it has four levels for $20. I think this is such an amazing deal. And what I want to do is set this up in the corner of my bathroom and put my things for like skincare that I'm not currently using, but just set it out so I can see all of it. So for example, like right here on the top, I could put all of my makeup removing things and my facial cleansers on top and then you know the one that I'm currently using I'll put in that tray and then you know for the second one I could put all my lotions the third one I could put extra body wash extra shampoo and conditioner things like that because there's some space in my beauty room that I have dedicated for those things that I really would like to clear out and have for more makeup pretty much but I think this will keep me organized help me see what I have and then I will be more likely to test things out and use those things and it will declutter some of my life which is always nice if I get that set up I will go ahead and insert a picture of what it looks all finished right here with everything organized on it how I want so you kind of can get an idea of what I'm talking about okay and then they had a ton of fall stuff and holiday stuff there like they had a lot of Halloween Thanksgiving type of things and so they had a whole shelf of fall scented candles you guys I have a weakness for candles so first I picked up this candle it's in the scent vanilla bean and this was $3.99 all the candles that I got are $3.99 and I really like the packaging and I like that it's just like a nice small candle it has this pretty rose gold lid so these are home richly scented candles. They're hand poured and they smell so good. They smell really strong to where, you know, when you get like soy based candles and you light them and the scent is very subtle. Listen, I'm not a hater. I'll be happy if I have a soy candle as well. But I really like a candle that when you light it, the scent just disperses throughout the whole room. And when you walk in, you know that a candle is lit. That's the type of candles that I really enjoy. And I feel like that's what these are going to be because the scent is just so strong and lovely. Next up, this is Vanilla Maple. Oh, it smells so good. This smells like a pancake house. A really sweet, you know, if you're at Waffle House and you order some pecan waffles and you got butter on there and then you drizzle a ton of maple syrup and it just smells like you smell the fresh waffle you get the sweet and the buttery smell that's exactly what this smells like it smells so good okay and this is my last item this one is pumpkin donut scented and I really like the deep orange that this container is So this smells just like what you would think it smells like. It's pumpkin-y and it's kind of cinnamon-y and maybe that's kind of where they get the donut vibe from. But it smells like a delicious, spicy, pumpkin, cinnamon, warm candle. Oh man, candles are so good. Alright, I think that is everything. So that is all the things I got in this little haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if y'all are picking up any fall home decor goodies, any fall candles that you recommend. I would love to hear about that. But give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you are into the hauls I've been doing lately. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.